Hey guys, it's Chris, and in today's video we're going to be building lithophane boxes. This is an idea that I stumbled across when I was browsing the internet for ideas for what I wanted to make for Christmas gifts for my friends and family. I wanted something that would be easy to make multiple of, but also easy enough to customize for each of the person that I was making a gift for. These lithophane boxes consist of two parts, the box itself and the actual lithophane. A lithophane is an image that has been converted to black and white and then 3D printed so that each thickness of plastic corresponds to a shade of black. White shows up as very thin plastic and black will be thicker plastic with various shades of gray in between. When you're holding these pictures, they look just plain white, but when you hold it up to a light, it has a cool effect and you can see exactly what the picture is showing. So with that said, let's jump right into it. The first step is gonna be finding the image that you wanna use. I'm gonna do this. Google Images, I'm just gonna take a picture and save image. Then I'm going to go to lithophanemaker.com all right, there'll be a link to this down in the description. And from there, I'm gonna scroll down all the way to flat lithophane maker. All right, now there are a few options here. And if you want more on this website, the guy who made this website actually has really good videos. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to choose my baby Yoda, which is on my desktop. All right, I'm gonna do no border which is just a flat picture with 100 by 100 and then crop you can change the crop however you want the height and the width i did a lot of playing around with this i found that 100 just leaving it as this default works really well especially with the way that i print it i tried to print some bigger ones and they failed dramatically so then you scroll down here you have to enter your email and then you click create stl the next step is to open your file in Cura. As you can see, when you open it, it'll automatically stand itself up. You can see a little baby Yoda there. What I want to do is turn it to lay it flat. Um, so I'm going to click on this rotation tool and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to sit flat. All right. I've tried printing them vertically. There's an option to print it vertically with stands. Um, I was not successful with that. You guys might be. The advantage of printing it vertically is that you get a better resolution. I think printing it horizontally like this is just fine and I had less failures this way. You do want to go in and change your quality to be uh, 0.15 millimeters I found works really well. Uh, and then in shell you want to change this wall line count to 5. That will make your walls thick enough that it'll basically just be a solid chunk of plastic. Another way to do this is to go to infill and set infill density to 100%. Then you're going to click slice. It's going to take a while to slice because there's a lot of little individual vectors that it has to calculate. But once it's done slicing, then you can send it to your printer and get it printed out. As for the box, there are a lot of ways you can do this. I use Autodesk Inventor for all of my modeling because that's what I learned way back in high school. Um, and it comes free with my tuition here at Oregon State. But the idea is I have this square here that's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, and I have used the shell tool to basically extrude everything but this shell. Um, I have made two holes. One hole is for the Arduino to stick out of, so you have somewhere to plug it in. And then this other hole, which you can see if I tilt it like this, is just a hole for a little thumbtack to go through in case you want to hang this on your wall. You can design this however you want. This one will be up on Thingiverse and there's a link in the description. You guys can download this and print it out if you want to make one that's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. If you're going to make one that's a bigger size or a smaller size, you're going to have to redo the box yourself, but it's not that hard. Here is everything you'll need to do this project yourself. 
one USB cable, it's micro USB type B, one Arduino Nano, and six WS2812B LEDs, a pair of wire strippers, a soldering iron, a hot glue gun, uh, some type of wire, I'm using 18 gauge, and solder. Before we attach the lithophane to our box, we want to upload the code and make sure that all the LEDs are working and there are no solder bridges. So let's really quick run through this code. It's nice and short. Uh, we use the fast LED library. Um, I'm using data pin 3. There are 6 LEDs. This is pretty standard stuff. If you've seen my other videos using these LEDs, it's all the same. Uh, safety delay. These two fast LED setup functions. Um, we don't even need to seed random, but that's if I want to add in anything later that has some sort of random lighting effect. Um, and then we just loop through the colors of the rainbow. So I'm going to set my board to the Arduino Nano, and then I'm going to make sure that I'm on the right port, COM3 for me, and then I'm going to hit upload. And once it's done uploading, you can see all the LEDs are working, and that means that we're ready to attach the lithophane to the front. So let's do that. Now let's see it plugged in. Looks pretty good. like this fun little project I hope to do more smaller projects like this in the future if you guys have any suggestions for projects or if you try this project yourself be sure to leave a comment down below I read every single one and if you missed my last project the interactive LED wall click over here so you can get caught up I'm gonna have an update for that coming out in just a couple days so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it with that said I'll see you guys in the next one bye